Dynasties have risen and fallen. Some burnt books and destroyed libraries, but the spirit of knowledge was never lost. There were beacons of light to preserve our teachings. Carrying out the missions of the Prophet in guiding people, their status has been elevated, and their names inscribed in the books of history for eternity. More valuable than gold, they are our scholars, and the pillars upon which our understanding of faith stands. They are wonderful for a million reasons, but mostly because they can take us to the land of the Ever After, the place we know as Heaven. There was once a great scholar and author who was called Sheikh Jawad al Balakh al Najafi. The Sheikh had discussed and debated religion with people of different faiths including Christians, Jews, Marxists, and atheists. His books were based on his experiences from these discussions. Such a man with such great talent lived in great poverty in a poor house. His bed was made up of palm leaves. Many people say that he was so poor that he did not have money to publish his books and when he needed to publish his book, he had to resort to selling his own house. This shows how great our scholars were, that they would sacrifice their basic necessities in life just so that they can spread the religion of Allah. Sheikh Jawad al Balaghi will forever be remembered for his value for education. A man who recognized that in order to be successful in the next world, we must be successful and educated in this world. So at the end of time, when the day of resurrection approaches, and all those on earth will be subject to questioning, when God Almighty will call upon the scholar and then upon the worshiper, he will tell the worshiper to go to heaven and he will tell the scholar to take those he or she have trained with them. And like that, even the student will be granted the everlasting reward of paradise for merely following the teachings of a great scholar. <laughs>